This segment brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. You've heard the big thing about plant-based proteins, you know, how we need to start eating more plant-based proteins instead of meat-based proteins. Well, one of the big disadvantages of plant-based proteins for humans is that they do not have a desirable amino acid profile. We have to have, in order for us to get essential amino acids, we have to consume those in our diet. So we have to eat protein sources that have those essential amino acids in it in order for that to get us in our diet. A lot of plant-based proteins do not have a optimal amino acid profile for our diet. Ruminant animals, they don't have to worry about that because the microbes within the rumen can synthesize all of the essential amino acids. And as a result, you can actually maintain a cow on a diet that has no protein in it. All it has to have is a nitrogen source like urea. Now they won't produce much milk or they won't produce much meat, but they can survive without any protein. In our case, we wouldn't, we wouldn't last long. The final thing that this group does is they, they also have prolific activity, so they're capable of breaking down protein. And they're actually digesting the epithelial wall. So if you look at it, you can see some areas where there's no bacteria. That's because the epithelial cells have sloughed off. And those bacteria continuously digest away at that epithelium. And as long as the epithelial cells grow faster than the rate at which they digest, the rumen stays healthy. But under conditions like, for example, on high concentrate diets where the rumen pH can get very low, that can negatively affect the health and growth of the epithelium. And the epithelial cells do not grow as fast under those conditions. Under those conditions, then the bacteria can digest and you can start to have ulcers forming in that rumen wall because they're digesting faster than what the epithelial cells can replicate uh, to offset that Probably about 1-2% to of the protein requirements of the animal actually come from the digestion of the epithelium itself. The the digestive tract. So the, the digestive tract itself is colonized by bacteria throughout the entire thing. Not just in the room, right? There's bacteria throughout the entire thing. Now the largest population in the river, the population is associated with the feed. Because the bacteria have to attach to the feed in order to digest it. If the feed is fed in a manner that doesn't allow bacterial attachment, then the digestibility of that feed will be close to zero. So this is just an electron micrograph showing bacteria digesting barley on the top slide and corn on the bottom side. And you can see right away that they differ in their shapes. There's more round bacteria involved in digestion of corn than there is in the digestion of barley. And you can see that some of those bacteria, these ones down here, are full of white material, as you can see here. That's glycogen. And if you give me a sample of rumen fluid, I can tell you whether that animal is being fed a forage-based diet or a concentrate-based diet. Because on a grain-based diet, there's an excess of energy in the rumen, and those bacteria will deposit glycogen inside their cells. If it was a forage-based diet, you would never see that in bacteria that are coming from how it gets worse. Sugarcrop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. We're based out of Seneca, Kansas. We work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but yet we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and work with you.